Mountain Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum tracking the totals of rainfall we got overnight. That's right, and this is uh, since midnight here. We can see rain totals kind of all over the place here from uh, uh, not quite a half an inch in Birmingham, just over an inch in Tuscaloosa, almost two inches in Coleman, Calera, about a half an inch there. So we picked up some decent rain totals out there, enough to put a little dent in the drought, but of course not to totally wipe out the drought. Right now, though, we are rain free. Temperatures from 59 there in Coleman to Hamilton, 65 to Carrollton, 65 Birmingham, Alabaster is warm as 68 in Talladega right now. And the rain kind of off to our south and south of I-85 there, but the rest of us kind of deal with some cloud cover and we did see a little sunshine today and it looks like we're not going to see a ton of sun out there moving forward, but we do have the clouds kind of stretching all the way back here toward Fayetteville, Arkansas, and we'll eventually deal with some breaks in the clouds tomorrow afternoon, but really going to be soft in the cloud cover. If you're flying out of Birmingham, maybe you're traveling over towards say Atlanta or Charlotte, they're dealing with a little bit of some wet weather, likely some delays out there for the day today. If you're traveling or driving around the southeast as you go off to the east and then go up to the north, East, that's where the bulk of the rain is going to be for today. So fit forecast this evening if trying to get a little workout in before Thanksgiving, right? 60 degrees at six o'clock falling to 57 by eight o'clock. The small chance for maybe some drizzled mist or a sprinkle out there overnight tonight, lower to mid forties, 42 in Coleman, 45 here in town, 46 in Tuscaloosa, back to Alex City and Clanton. Say a few over in Aniston, not too far from our average, which is 42 this time of year. So we should have chilly mornings, but you can see here as we go into the afternoon here, rest of the evening hours here. Cloud cover kind of persists across the region heading on into say 7 o'clock tomorrow morning again lower to mid 40s, but by the afternoon the clouds start breaking up by 3 o'clock, but it's going to be a chilly day. Some of you like Coleman, Aniana, Gadsden, maybe Aniston may not get out of the 40s if the cloud cover persists. The rest of us assuming we'll see a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon may briefly get in the lower 50s, so it's going to be a chilly day. Then as we head into Thanksgiving morning, we're talking lower to middle 30s out there. Need to protect any plants outside. Going to be very frosty across central Alabama with that clear sky Thanksgiving morning and by the afternoon we'll get into the mid and upper 50s mostly sunny through three o'clock but then clouds will build back in as we head to the evening so again the morning in the kitchen getting the turkey ready 46 degrees by the time the afternoon arrives 51 and for that late afternoon nap temperatures about 55 degrees but we will see some more cloud cover how about for the iron bowl as we head into the weekend looks great for kickoff 60 degrees mostly sunny clouds will build in during the game as temperatures fall to 50 degrees by the fourth quarter so overall look great for tailgating or even anything after the game since the game is of course at 2:30 right here on CBS 42. So 54 tomorrow, 58 Thursday. We stay in the 50s on Friday. So if you early morning shoppers, a little chilly out there. Now there could be a stray shower sprinkles. The disturbance moves through the area. We'll keep an eye on that, but it clears out for Saturday. Another one comes through Sunday into Monday could bring us a shower on Monday, but temperatures back down in the 50s for Monday and Tuesday.